fitting problem solving um, we're gonna have a little play with this free and easy again I think it's still pinching his shoulder especially on the left and if that doesn't work temporarily he'll borrow Azid's booer. Take two we need to make it a little bit wider I think um, Qantas is fine on the lunge and not under saddle in the field moves fine um, shows exhibits no pain um, I can't find anything to touch anywhere that's kind of super sore that I get a reaction from. Um, I know I'm a human physio, but I can apply that a little bit to with my horses. Um, so we'll try this. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try Aziz's Booer, a different saddle. Um, and if he's fine in that, we, we definitely know it's this saddle. If he's not fine in that, the next step is um, to get the equine physio out and get her to have a little look at him. So, let's get started. <laughs> A seed is about to follow suit. Take two. Saddle fitting take two over. I think after a while you kind of have to kind of realise that you're only human and you only have so much patience and just start again another day. Um, it was definitely better than it was before, so he wasn't swishing his tail anymore, it was much, much more forward, the back of the saddle didn't move as much, but it's still not quite right, and the thing is you don't really know if he's sore from before, or if the saddle's pinching at the time. So we're going to do just some um, non-ridden work for a week, so we'll just do kind of lunging poles, walking up and down the hill with the theraband. And then we'll have another go with his saddle that's been altered today. And it is looking way, way better. And if he's still sore after that, he's sore just underneath his withers either side, um, just above the shoulder blade. So if it still aggravates him, the boa he did not suit at all. He really, really hated it when I tried it today. Um, we'll try to use his saddle because it's slightly narrower than his. And we'll go from there. Um, yeah, <laughs> take three another time. <laughs> Who knows what is in here at the moment. This is meant to be the box of stuff that I kind of use regularly and I need. Now I've got a box for my boots. Go through them. Let's see if I can tidy this up a bit. A little bit of petri 
るぞ。<笑>
these are the boots that I need to ride in. Um, so I've got some high vis, some fetlock boots, some kind of brushing boots. I've got my massage, um, equilibrium therapy massage pad, towel. Then I've got the head collars um, and a schooling whip and a lunge rope. Then in this box, I don't really know what I want in this one, but I've put my bum bag that I use when I'm riding in something that doesn't have big enough pockets for my phone and my saddle bottle holder. I think I'll put kind of bits and bobs in here. Um, then I've got my grooming kit, I've got my infrared camera that I use every week just to give them a look over. Um, and then I've got my Baileys Tasty Treats and Aqua Aid for pre and post ride stretches and hydration. And then I've got some electric. It's not plugged in, don't worry guys. There's no live wire. So I'm much happier with that. It looks a little bit more tidy. Um, obviously, I think only the boxes will be allowed to stay in once there's a horse in here. All of the soft stuff will have to go out. Um, and I keep um, all of kind of my rugs, my crew kit and stuff in the barn. Woo! <laughs> I used to have one box of rugs for Tizzy and one box of rugs. The first horse I had that I then had two horses with Priya, so we had a box each for rugs. Now I have three horses and I have to stuff the rugs into two boxes. As you can see, well, there's a slide. <laughs> We're bulging. We're bulging, guys. Um, I might have to get another box eventually. I don't know about you guys, but rugs are like an obsession. So good. I love getting rugs. <laughs> this is where I keep everything else. This is kind of my section of the barn. So I've got my rug boxes here. Um, I've kind of got my stuff and things. Do people have stuff and things boxes um, here? Uh, then underneath is all the spares of stuff. So um, kind of like leg straps, hose pipe spares, stuff like that. And then underneath the blue box is all my electric fencing stuff. Then on these shelves, so in this bag I've got all my tack cleaning stuff, this is all my horse cleaning stuff, this is the liddy bucket that goes in the lorry, I'm about to put stuff on there from the stable, I've got my kettles for the winter and then I've got where all my spare um, shoes, horseshoes go and then under here is the crew kit. So keep it under this dust sheet, well, clues in the name. And I've got my two winter field hay feeders that we made. They're super good actually. So yeah, that's my barn storage.